Okay, hey everybody. We're about to uh, embark on the next level of the old 51 here, and that is to replace this floor pan. So real quick, you can see some rough marked lines. We are going to cut about an inch inside of those lines and go from there. This is uh, the original piece, but we're gonna trim that up and then custom fit it and get ready to weld it in. So let us begin. We're actually gonna tip this cab up on its back to give us better access in working on this baby. Let's see what happens. Well, that went smoother than I thought it would. It's not too bad. We just rotated it from one set of pallets up onto another. And now we're good to go to work on this floor a little easier. A little more access from underneath. That's holy. Okay, let me show you how this is coming along. We have removed some of this stuff that was in here. Got some bolts. This is a support for the both the fender, front fender and the parking brake. And this was in here also. It's gonna look like this and uh, so I just took the bolts out of that and out of this here I had tacked it so it was trying to stay in there well anyway so got that out now um, so took this, there's a support here. It goes along the cutout opening for the transmission. And I took this one out so that I could either reuse or replace. And then uh, now I'm taking out the, there's a few spot welds along this edge. I started on this edge. Still have more to go there. On the top edge, I think I've got them all down to the spot where I'm gonna cut across. So we'll cut across right here to match the panel that I'm replacing. And then this will be a simple cut across. Maybe there's some spot welds in here I'm gonna have to find. and cut out so that comes out and then I can retain some of the original sheet metal to give me a placement and some structural stability and on the back we'll just we'll tack that in weld that in uh, so this looks terrible in this corner but we'll get it uh, hopefully stiffened up strengthened up and we also have the replacement um, stiffener piece here. So we'll take this out along with the floor piece and replace all that. That's kind of a key structural mounting for the cab. So, uh, and then if um, it feels like it's a little uh, weak, we'll. Uh, reinforce along this cutout, which is larger now. So let's keep going.
Okay, let me show you where we made it to tonight. Um, I got the old floor piece cut out and uh, the new piece is fitting fairly well so far into the bottom portion. So we'll get that um, tacked in place. I do have some uh, Clecos if I need them. So if you know, those are just a spring-loaded uh, temporary fastener. So if those are needed, I have them. And otherwise, we can start tacking it in place, drill some holes, get some spot welds or plug welds going um, to hold the bottom piece portion. And then we'll uh, coax the uh, upper portion into place and uh, tack that in, and it'll be a little bit of a custom fitting process. So. There we go, and then we'll take our um, support and weld that into place and just get some good locating features to get it in the right place. I also marked where the uh, previous mounting hole was just in line with this, so. It'll line up with the cab mount on the frame over here. Line up with that hole. So we'll continue on this another day. Going well so far. Okay, we're about ready to go on this welding job here. We've cleaned up the repair panel of primer or paint and we also cleaned up the cab where we're welding in and um, drilled a few holes or some plug welds or uh, there's some more along the bottom there it's sort of just hanging in place right now and we'll get a few tacks so we can finish fitting that up. Ty will start at the back here. got some uh, tacks along the bottom now and along the top I tacked right here on this edge and then this was kind of spread apart and I couldn't reach in with the uh, clamps even though they're bigger a little bit of a deep throat <clears throat> so that's where these Clecos come in handy the spring-loaded temp fastener you drill um, through both pieces and then um, you can use these guys to squeeze it together. So the way they work here, let's see if I can put one handed. So um, when they're compressed they like pull together so you squeeze that and stick it through the hole and then as you let go of that it pulls the two parts together because uh, one one end is a little bit barbed there and this is a really small one so these ones are a little bit bigger and they look like that once they're in okay so now that'll Make it easier to weld that together. 
properly. Then that's coming together pretty well. Show you the bottom side here, some plug welds, and then I'm also a couple spots reinforcing it from this side. So let's keep it going. before picture it's a holy floor here's an after oops got it dirty I'm admiring my workmanship but it's just not all that great it's going to hold the cab together, though. <laughs> 